Hi everyone and welcome to this new episode of the Innovation Shuttle. Today I am meeting with Ramses, the co-founder and CEO of Neurable here in San Francisco. It's actually a sunny day in San Francisco, no fog. Neurable is a brain computing interface company that um, wants to create a life without limitations. If you want to know what that means, enjoy the video. Ramses, welcome in the Innovation Shuttle. Thanks for joining us. I already uh, talked to our viewers about who you are, what you do and where we are. But um, I would say the first thing we need from you is a quick introduction. You just said you're a doctor. In what are you a doctor and uh, what are you working on with, with Neurable? Yeah, so my name is Dr. Ramz al I We work on brain computer interfaces. Got my PhD in neuroscience where we worked on technology to help improve the quality that we collect brain data. And so that enabled us to essentially take what would normally be these large cap systems that you see inside laboratory settings mm -hmm. and move the technology down to everyday devices like headphones, earbuds, AR glasses, and still retain a lot of the same markers of information, mm -hmm. enabling for really like everyday brain compute uh, applications. Okay, and what, what can you do with brain compute? interfaces what can you do with it yeah there's a lot of applications uh, the first one is more on cognitive analytics so understanding yourself mm -hmm. understanding when you're burning out mm -hmm. uh, when you should be taking healthy breaks understanding if your brain is trending in a particular direction like for example tracking Alzheimer's or Parkinson's okay uh, and then there's even other stuff that's more related to control so controlling different devices uh, we actually once drove a, a Nissan Versa with our brain activity which is really cool that's a whole oh, wow. separate thing that we did that was fun mm -hmm. uh, but you know in the case of what we're working in right now it's like for example controlling your headphones or earbuds to change music tracks or, or you know help identify music that uh, that you want to listen to that helps change your mood oh wow so you actually instead of me thinking I might be stressed right now I should listen to some binaural beats your technology can actually tell me that this is exactly what I need right now in order to reach a certain target. That's one way, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, another way might be too that, you know, let's say you're feeling a little bit down and you're like, I need to feel more energized, right? So we can, for example, play music that helps you feel energized mm -hmm. and then we can see if it's actually helping you. If not, we can tune it mm -hmm. and change it to help change your mood mm -hmm. uh, in, in, you know, in better ways, essentially. Very interesting. And you, and you just talked about that, I, I know some of these interfaces and how they used to look like but you just said you're bringing this pretty much into a consumer like technology format on the hardware side um, how does this look like uh, do you, I think you you just brought it here with you um, but what is what is the vision behind the hardware that you need in order to execute on your software vision. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And what I'm showing here is actually just one of our prototypes. Mm -hmm. It's essentially a pair of headphones with like soft fabric sensors. And that's um, all you need to get the information out of the brain. That's all we need, yeah. I mean, the, the thing that makes it work well is actually our software. So mm -hmm. really what we are is an AI company that helps boost that signal. That's, uh, that's essentially what I did as part of my graduate work and we spun out the company. Mm -hmm. So we can take what is off the shelf sensors like these fabric sensors here mm -hmm. and then boost their performance to be able to actually capture brain data uh, mm -hmm. across the brain and there's a lot of papers we've published with, with this information in it and uh, but essentially so that that's step one like getting good signal and then step two is how do we make it work seamlessly for a person and so that's essentially what our algorithms help do as well mm -hmm. to make it so there's no calibration mm -hmm. and it just works straight you know out of the box essentially mm -hmm. okay very very interesting um, of course, I did a little research and this morning I, I opened your homepage and I looked at the vision of Neurable mm -hmm. and I have to be honest, I had goosebumps. Um, <laughs> it's a great video. Yeah, recommendation to everyone, watch it. It just opens up an entire new world of what could be possible. Um, but maybe you could also elaborate a little bit on what is the vision behind the company? I mean, this is already a great achievement that many people will not even believe. Yeah. That it exists to be honest but you've tried it so I've tried it I've tried to get my concentration to like the highest level and see how I can perform maybe I would have needed some music because mathematics definitely doesn't do the <laughs> trick for me but uh, yeah what, what is the vision behind it what do you want to deliver to the world yeah definitely definitely so uh, really I mean brain computer interfaces have so much capability right like we've, we've already tracked you know Parkinson's with it, Alzheimer's, we can look at to see if individuals have traumatic brain injuries, we can use them for control of different devices. 
devices, etc. Mm -hmm. And really the vision of the company is to help unlock all of that to mm -hmm. everyday systems, right? So we've, we've made all this incredible progress in, in scientific labs. And how do we unlock that for the everyday person? How do we, just like the Apple Watch started out as a system for tracking health and movement, yeah. Yeah. Um, now it's evolving into a medical device as well too, picking yeah. up heart arrhythmias, right? Uh, and But what if you had something that was like the Apple Watch on steroids, right? Yeah. Because the brain is the ultimate wearable. Like all these wearables are just secondary measures of what your brain already knows. Yeah. And so not only are you gonna have the ultimate wearable for tracking your own health, but on top of that, that's gonna be the next wearable that you use to interact with your technology in a seamless, silent way. Mm -hmm. um, and really that, that, that vision, and that's really what the video covers, right? And you'll notice in the video, there's no headphones, there's no earbuds, there's no AR devices. I right? just wanted to ask that. Does yeah. it mean that you have to have technology on your head, around your head, or what is? Yes, but the concept behind it is that, uh, you know, we want the technology to be transparent and it shouldn't matter what type of wearable you wear, right? Whether it's an AR glasses that you use mm -hmm. brain data to send text messages with mm -hmm. or a pair of headphones that you're switching music with or tracking your health with, mm -hmm. all those applications are going to be possible through any type of wearable. And so a lot of people think we actually build headphones, mm -hmm. but the truth is we partner with companies mm -hmm. and no matter what their wearable it is, whether it's helmets, AR, in-ear, around the ear, our technology helps unlock a lot of the value that was previously kept behind okay. in, in laboratories. Okay. So how does the, the last or the recent announcement of the Apple Vision Pro fuel your vision? Is that like a big hope that that, te that technology will have a breakthrough into everyone's life? Yeah, I mean, to me, it's it's very exciting. Uh, what I would say is, what's what's really interesting is we started the company out by using interactions, so like controlling different objects mm -hmm. um, with brain data. But then what we discovered is that like there wasn't a really big need for that until AR or VR really took off. Yeah. Uh, and so we pivoted the company to help more on analytics and and you know mental state uh, and, and trying to help individuals better understand themselves. Uh, and now with this resurgence. In, in what Apple just did, I feel like it's going to help accelerate that field. Mm -hmm. And then once that technology needs the mouse and keyboard of the future, which is what our technology has the potential to be, mm -hmm. we're going to be at the right place at the right time. So right now we're at the right place in the right time for hearables like headphones, earbuds. Yeah. But in the near future, we're going to be the right place at the right time for AR. Very, very interesting. So. Um I have to say I'm a, I'm a big fan of the company for a while already. Um, <laughs> we met, we also explored how um, smart buildings could react to the brain um, when we when we sense certain um, certain situations. Um, but yeah, I have to say I am excited for for what you guys are doing. Um, if anyone has the interest of collaborating with you guys, um, supporting you, whether it's from an investment perspective or also from a partnering perspective, um, how could they approach Neurable? Is it over the website? Is it over LinkedIn? Yeah, the best way is through our Discord. Yeah. Uh, and actually, uh, we've had people reach out to us through Discord and now they're investors in the company, right? Okay. Uh, and we've had individuals who have reached out to us through our Discord and they either became interns or we've actually hired two people through our Discord as well too. So that's a good place to talk to me directly, to yep. talk to the team. We're yep. all passionate about building this future. And so if we connect with you in that passion, you know, that, that helps us want to, you know, bring you along in this journey as well. All right, so you heard it first time on this channel that we don't recommend reaching out on LinkedIn, but we recommend reaching out via Discord. Um, yeah, I, I honestly, I, I love it. I can't wait to have that technology in my everyday life. Mm -hmm. um, that would be also my, my final question. If anyone wants to get their hands on the technology, what can they do? What should they do? What are the current um, applications that are out there mm -hmm. to actually use your technology? Yeah, it's going to be available uh, late this year okay. or early next year. So you're okay. going to be able to purchase the technology at that point in time. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to start also onboarding developers uh, early 2024 mm -hmm. so that they can start building things on top of the platform as well too. Understood. Uh, and today you're actually going to get, uh, you know, uh, another demo, which is even better than the one that you had last time. Love it. Uh, and, uh, you know, you can let your viewers know how that goes as well, too. I will. I will. And will that be um, a headphone that you bring out or will that be um, your software platform and then 
it really depends on the hardware player that integrates you. So we have a uh, partner on the hardware side. Yeah. And uh, they're going to be running our platform on their devices. Yeah. And, you know, we're going to essentially be uh, providing all the software and everything through that platform. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Then we arrived at our uh, at our destination at the restaurant. We'll have some good dinner now in San Francisco. And as you heard, if you want to reach out to Ramsey's, do it via Discord. Um, thank you so much. Thank you. And I'm excited about this uh, company and the future. Sounds good. Bye. Bye bye.